Dangle! Mystery meat! Mulligans! Dangle! Dangle! Wall spiders, parasites, a lot of ground buttholes. The stand! Brimstone spider. Dangle! Dangle! Chub! What? Hey, what's up, everybody? Doc Giggles here, but you can call me Doc for short. Gonna do another Let's Play here of uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth Afterbirth. Uh, pick up where we left off. Gonna go play as Isaac again. Gonna go try to kill Mom, have another good run. Not rage quit. Ooh, burning basement. This will be fun. Alright. Going up first. Flies. All those little yellow flies killed themselves. That's good. That's always good. Little burning chubby guy. Ooh, pills. Ah, could be worse. Could be better, but could be worse. Got three little spider friends out of that. And I'm not sure how these land spiders are killing these aerial flies. But that's okay. Ooh, key. I need a key. For the second floor. Alright. Ooh, okay. That works nicely. Alright, got rid of all the burning bodies. Some more pills here. Not a fan of that one. Not at all. Friend zone. Friendly fly. I do like fly orbitals. Um. Could have been a better item, but, you know, it's not bad. It's a little slow moving compared to some of the other ones. So. A little bit closer to me than I would like to. Ah, uh, yeah, why not? Ooh, good choice. Steven. Oh, Larry Jr. too. Oh, 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 okay. Orbital did a lot of damage there to him. Just gonna kill him with that. Nice, rotten meat. Got a soul heart. Doing good. I don't feel like destroying all that. I think I can do a boss rush now, so we're gonna try for that again. See how well that goes. Can't go that way. Eh, I got enough hearts, I'm gonna test out this room. Uh, and I do have a bomb, so. Very nice. Very nice. Alright, moving on. Dangle! Some good uses of the orbital there. And I really don't feel like blowing up all of this poop, so... I'm just gonna grab this heart here and move on. Mystery meat! I don't actually know what that guy is called. But, I like mystery meat, so we're going with that. Nice! I needed that key. Um... Road rage. Speed and damage up. Alright. I'm going to go with that. Kind of want this chest. Nice! Got refunded my bomb. Gonna destroy a few of these fires. And nothing. Oh well. Mulligans! Oh. Got kind of lucky that fly didn't hit me. Yeah, I like to try to at least make use of the orbitals while I have them. Like that. Oh, burning bodies. Not a fan. Especially the jumping guys. Mm, not worth the bomb. Little horn! He's not bad. Should probably move my mouse out of the way.
He actually has a tendency to kill himself while I'm fighting him. With just bomb placement. Doing good. I'm done. Got some milk. Alright. Third floor. Doing good. Going fast. Check out this room. Eh, why not? Nice. Got a dime. And I walked into that. I think this round is going well so far. I hate these guys in general because it always takes forever for them to come out of their little thing. Monkey paw wish granted. Not sure what that trinket does off the top of my head, to be honest. Pull that up. I do like the callus because I like being able to just walk over the ground damage. Oh, okay, so is it worth losing one, two, three, four, five, six hearts for an extra nine lives? I don't think so. Moving on. Dingle! You know, I don't actually think those guys are called Dingle, I think that's just the boss version of them, but... I like saying it. Going up. Cute little parasites. Got dry bones going on over here. Yes, I'm aware that's not his name. Key I'm gonna need for this one. Dingle! I don't know what a dice shard is. D6 plus D20. I'm gonna wait till I pick up the item on this floor, because I don't remember what those do. And I don't want to re-roll the floor, have to go through it again without having gotten the item yet. And see, this is why the callus is a useful trinket. Okay, let's play a little bit smarter here. Looking for the item room still. And of course I go every single way except the way I need to go. Well, to find the item room. I guess I went the way I needed to go finding the boss room right away, but... Not what I'm looking for. I kind of want to pull another key so I can go to the shop with 20 coins. Wall spiders, parasites... Could be worse. Ooh, tough love. Tooth shot. Doesn't happen often, but it's worth it. I need some luck up items and that'll really help. I feel like I'm sitting too low for my camera. Gertie! Hey, buddy. Just wreck you with this orbital here. Alright, doing good. Got my HP up. I've unlocked Magdalene and the tank. And cursed. Alright, let's try a dash shard. Nope, just rerolls things on the floor. Plus whatever the D20 does, because I think that was a D6 that rerolls stuff on the floor. Moving on. Okay, doing good. Got my key. That's a lot of ground buttholes.
Another key. Nice. Do I need that? Ah, I walked into that. That was my fault. Okay, where'd that guy go? Alright. Doing good. So, this is always a fun game. If you haven't picked it up yet, I recommend doing it. Get on Steam. I don't know what that item does. <sighs> I really don't like this item. Not at all. Okay, let's gonna check out this room again. Not worth it. So in case you didn't realize, this item um, just makes me shoot continuously and they go towards wherever this little crosshair reticle I put on the ground is. Which I mean is good for me being able to dodge because I'm focused on that a little bit more than aiming. Especially on bosses, but in general I feel like it's a pain in the ass. Plus they're trying to line up shots with wherever it is at the time. I feel like it's going to continue to be a pain in the ass, especially with small enemies like this. Although it does get, does get all... Ah! Words! Although it does give you the added benefit of being able to shoot diagonally when that's not normally something you can do. So that's good. Yeah, why not? Kinda worth it. I got ten bombs and blow that up. As I shoot the bomb away with my tears. Yeah, I got a lot of money. I really need to find a shop. I'll pick up that bomb on the way back. Did I pass the shop this round? Or is there just not one on this floor? I don't remember seeing one. Oh, it was way back there. Eh, don't want to run all the way back. Hit up the shop on the next floor. The stain! I thought that said stand for a second. The stand! See, like this. This is a good use for that when I can just kind of set it where he is and then focus on dodging. And all my shots are just kind of going to go where he is. And apparently even when he's underground, he can hit the carrion poop and wreck himself. Which I kind of want to see him do again, which would be funny. Dead! Stan is dead. Uh, oh, that was good. Binky, maybe kind of smaller. I think it increases the maximum hearts I have, too? Or it does something. Gives me soul hearts, maybe? Or maybe it's fire speed increase. You know, honestly, I don't know what it does, so I'm just going to stop uh, speculating. Eh. It's a decent item. If I don't move around a lot, I get double shots, so... Doesn't work as well as I would like. Yeah, what's killing me is the... I gotta aim both the... tiers independently from where I'm moving. Not that you don't in general anyways, but... I don't know, this just 
much more complicated, I feel. It's going well, though. Death. I don't think you guys can see that card because of my face. The item I have in the bottom right corner, but I picked up death. I'm gonna use that in the boss room. Or maybe against Dingle here. Dingle 2.0. There's a black Dingle. Huh. See, when they just sit there in the corner like that, it works nice. Corn boop. Check out this room again. Huh. A couple of black hearts. Those are always useful. In case you don't know, a black heart is like a soul heart, but when you lose it, it basically does the death card that I have right now and hurts everyone in the room. Uh, petrified poop. No, I'm good. I'm pretty sure that increases the chances of poop dropping an item. Pretty sure. There's a couple of mom's hands here. Didn't destroy the second one. And this item makes it kind of hard to kill these guys. Because of that. Alright. Alright, we got this. There we go. Shop. Not shop. Treasure room. Odd mushroom? Damage up. Nice. I think that might have increased my size again, though. And it's greed. I mean, with how fast I shoot and having the tough love for the tooth shot, I mean, I do a lot of damage, it's just pain in the ass trying to aim it. That's battery I can't use. Or reach, for that matter. Oh, these guys are gonna be fun. Tempted to use death just to kill these guys. Cause... Yeah. Well, that wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, I forgot. I used my orbital. Like that. Very nice. Brimstone spider. More brimstone spiders, and I think they killed the actual spiders. I actually don't know if they can do friendly fire, but it sure looked like it there. These guys need to die fast as I get shot. More of these guys. You know what? I'm gonna use death now because I really don't want to deal with them. Dangle! Ooh, so hard. Yeah, see when they just in the corner like that? It works beautifully. Uh, yeah. Can't remember how much money you need to unlock Kane. I think it's 55? At 44, getting close. Brownie! That's, that's a gold piece of shit. And there's a lot of bullet hell going on right now. Yes, yes there is. Damn. I don't know how he got poisoned, but that's okay. That went far too well. Don't know what happened there. That was a little too chaotic. Magic Scab! I'm pretty sure I need one more coin for Kane. Kinda close on that boss timer. Ah, uh, I could give you stuff, but I kind of want to see if I can get Kane first. Dangle! Which I might do right here if it is 55 like I was thinking. Yes, it is! I've unlocked Kane. So let's go feed the bum. Hug me! Hug me. Um, I don't remember what this one does exactly. I think it picks up stuff as you walk around, but I don't know what it does for you once you get the stuff. 
picks up coins, I should say. Like that. But I probably should go back in there, because he was in the middle picking that up, and I walked into a Globlin again. Yeah, I really like in the Kels. It also prevents you from being affected by tar and stuff like that. Okay, so he picked up that coin. Don't know what happened with that. There's a big room for these guys. I have no idea where my cursor is because this room is so big. There it goes. A spike chest, that's odd. Picked up the coins I didn't really want to pick up because I wanted him to grab them, but oh well. I don't know what that does. I want it. Turns back time. Okay. Spending my coins at the donation machine because I get a blue map. Um, because I don't feel like there's going to be too many more shops at this point, and I have a lot of money, so I might as well store upgrade level one. Might as well spend the money here. Alright. Broke the machine. Got enough bombs, enough keys. So I'm going to blow that up. I do like Guppy's head, and I can get a lot of flies if I keep that, but I kind of want to use this glowing arms glass because I don't know what it does. Brings me back a room, apparently? I mean, that could be useful. Nope. I'm going to go with Guppy's head, because reusable fly hive, I think, is better than being able to port back one room. Use my callus to go over that. I have enough keys for this stuff. Keep picking up the coins I want to save for that guy, because I don't know what it does. Found the boss. Awesome. Going for that boss rush. Got enough hearts that I think I can do it. Alright, gonna use that, and... Back to mom! I mean, honestly... If I just leave it in one spot, I should be fine. Um, providing I can keep in between her and... Keep uh, enemies in between me and wherever she happens to be at the time. Yeah, that was that was really easy. I'll pick up the Synthol. Um, I missed it by 15 seconds. Shitty. Oh well, moving on. Still pretty sure I'm going to finish this run. Use the fly hive. Terrifying babies. I have no idea where my cursor is because it's the same color as everything else in here. That's that's not going to be good. Uh, super magnet. It pulls. Oh. That's why I took damage because I lost my callus. No, I don't want that. Um, okay. <sighs> yeah, that kind of sucked. Oh well. I gotta stop picking up money. I keep forgetting. Alright. Oh, those guys are cool looking. I'm dead. Two more keys, use my fly hive. Let's run with the pinworms. Pretty sure that's what they are. Doing good. Doing good. Got the heart, using our fly hive. Got his head. Uh, I think I put that bomb too close. Yes, I did. I might come back for him. We'll see. Don't know how confident I am in fighting mom's hearts. Losing more health than I currently have. At that shop guy. So we'll see, though. Doing well. 
Oh, I'm up to full health, so maybe I will take a look at that. Yeah, why not? Even though he takes all hearts. Okay, that was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. So we're gonna go do this room I didn't want to do a little bit ago because we're gonna try to get some hearts. Making mistakes. Alright. Yeah, see, he does that now. I don't know what that does exactly. That worked nicely. I have lots of flies now. Lots and lots of flies. I picked up that again. I didn't want to do that. Alright, so we got... A uh, hand that just wrecked me and opened up a secret room. The heart I need. Try to blow him up, see if he drops anything. Spiders, of course. Alright. Mega Meat! Um, Ace of Spades card, I and mean, that could be good, but I still think I'd rather stick with the, um, Callus. Got kind of boxed in over here, but luckily these guys aren't too bad. Doing good. Getting some hearts back. Yeah, I definitely made a mistake doing that. Bible. I don't know if the Bible does anything to Mom's heart. I don't know if you use it against Mom, it instantly kills her. But I don't know about Mom's heart. I'm gonna stick with the Fly Hive. There's a two-key room over there. There might be something good in there. Let's see. I don't know what a one. Lord of the Flies. I think that rerolls all the items I have. Because I just got this random laser beam thing going on now. With exploding tears, apparently. And I'm really slow. I may have just killed myself. Yeah, because I got the boomer. Uh, yeah, and they come back and, like, that one explodes. So. Wait, does that one explode or do I have E. coli and drop? No, yeah, some of these explode. There's a very good chance I just killed myself. Not good. I am a level behind where I thought I was. Especially because these things pierce. I have no idea what's going on. Like, I seriously don't know the combination of things I have that's making me do what I'm doing. And why I'm not, like, shooting anymore or hurting people over here. Or what this laser beam is sticking out of my face is. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea. Um, well, at least I got some hearts. And apparently I can't pick up that black heart because full health. So yeah, one dice rooms apparently re-rolls your items. Like the D4. Scarred Womb. Also, my character's really slow. I had that. Pretty.
Yeah, the random bomb thing is killing me here. I saw myself lay at that time. Okay, at least I know what that is now. And I can't pick up soul hearts, that's right. And yet there was some other random explosion there, so I don't know. I feel like my tears have random effects and some of them are explosions. Pretty sure that's what's going on. So then my best bet is not to fire, because yeah, that'll work. Range up! That's good. Hearts, those are good too, except I can't use a soul heart. Alright. Doing good. I think. Things got a little complicated here. Gertie! Guardlings! I think the leech heals me over time if I actually let them... Butterbean has been unlocked if I let them kill things. But... Yeah. Okay. I don't know what to do about him exactly. Whoops. There we go. Some of these combinations don't work well. And like that arrow that was just kind of sitting on top of him, that looked like it worked really well. And I'm apparently a unicorn now. Oh, I have Tauros, I forgot about that. Okay, so I get slowly faster as the room goes on and eventually I get the invincibility for a few seconds. You know, if I can not get the random tears that explode in my face, I'm pretty sure I got this. I mean, I got 99 bombs for some reason, I didn't even notice that. Emergency contact. I don't know what that does. I gotta use item, I don't know if you guys can see it. Cause, no you probably can't, my face is in the way. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see what just happened in that room, but I don't even know. It was... There's some weird goings-ons with my current setup. Gotta stop blowing myself up like that. Chubb! My bestest friend. You're dead! Someone's killed you! I wonder who it was. Alright, Mom's heart! Emergency contact, let's do that. Ah! Nice! Gotta pay attention to that. Like that. See, I saw the bomb get laid that time. I got this in the bag. I unlocked Eden! As you can see, with all the spinning hairdos that I really wish I could have, it'd be nice to have a different hairdo every day. Or weird. Not sure. 
Anyways, so that's it for this playthrough of Binding of Isaac Rebirth Afterbirth. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Always appreciate it. And yeah, I still don't have an outro yet, so bye.